Anders Karup Rasmussen is 34, right-hander from Otter in Denmark. Have a win-loss record of 24 to 12 this year before the China Open. Quarter-finals, it stands at 3 to 2. And those three one wins have come in a row in their last three quarterfinals. So that's what I mean by they're in some kind of superb form. They saw off the number one seed, Alfian and Ardianto, 21-19, 21-19, and then made short work of Lee Jiu Hui and Yang Po Swan, 21-8, 21-13 in the second round. So in some sensational form are the Danes. But uh, make no mistake, the Japanese are no pushovers. As we see the officials for this match, the umpire is Bert van Horenbeek from Belgium, and he's joined in the service judges chair by Su Xiaofeng of China. And those are your officials for this match. So, a seventh China Open appearance for Astrup and Rasmussen, who won this tournament in 2018 when they beat Han Chang Kai and Zhou Haodong in three games, made their debut back in 2014. For Takuru Hoki and Yuga Kobayashi, this is a fifth China Open appearance. They got to the quarterfinals in 2016 and 17. Ladies and gentlemen, and on my right, in 2019, they lost in the first round to Gideon and Sukamori in straight games. And on my left, Takuru Looking to Hoki better a quarterfinal Kobayashi outing here are Japan. Hoki and Kobayashi. Kimastrup to serve. Astrup will serve to get this quarterfinal underway. Lovall. Oh. Serves over. Oh. Now finds the corner. One love. Good returns from both ends to begin with. Oh. Serve Zerva. And this is what Hoki and Kobayashi will be one. looking to do time and time again, and that is try and get the Danes caught out in positions. Mixing up their shots Three, in the one. rallies. Long that two, time. Serve is over. Two, four. Okay. Oh. Very, very strong. Serve is over. At the net, fully alert. Five, two. And the really tight net exchanges. Uh, really tight at the net from Takura Hoki. Seven, two. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
talk about the last outing and Hoki and Kobayashi exited in the third round of the World Championships, lost to Fikri and Molana of Indonesia in three games. Which is a contrasting run to Astrup and eight. Rasmussen, who got all the way to the finals and then lost out to Kang and Si of Korea in three games. Settling for the silver medal. Yeah. Correction. Good call out. by Yugo Kobayashi. Eight, he challenged two. it and it was the right decision. And so, Hoki Late. Kobayashi have uh, in double quick time taken an 8 2 lead. Serves over. Three, eight. Japanese pair has won the men's doubles title here at the China Open. What a moment this would be if Hoki and Kobayashi can persevere. Good return by Astrid and Rasmussen. Eight. Definitely consider the China Open as one of the favorites, having been former champions. Favors oh. return, kill shot at the net Stand by Takura Hoki, who's rarely put a wrong step in Nine, the front court. Four. Yeah. Oh. Oh. On the line, oh. bang Stand on the line. Four. A big yell to follow as well. Astrup and Rasmussen have been taken by surprise here. Still to really find their way in this first game. So settle in. Out. Serves over. Service error by five, Kobayashi ten. there. Clash of rackets from the Japanese end. But Sir Rasmussen drives the shuttle straight into the net. And that means it's 11 5 at the break to Hoki and Kobayashi, the number five seeds. Court two, twenty seconds. Court two, twenty seconds. So they're back on court, 11-5 up in favor of Japan. Taking a commanding lead here. It's called out. 12-5. Astrid and Rasmussen, who played here just yesterday against Li and Yang of Chinese Taipei, were very different in that match. Hit the ground running in the second round for here against Hoki and Kobayashi. Ooh, fantastic defending by Hugo Kobayashi. Look at the ground he covered there. Ah, that is tremendous by the Japanese player. This 
Look at Yugo Kobayashi covering the court impeccably and then gets the win. Forces the error off Astrup's backhand. Eight point advantage. Astrup defending from the floor. Yeah, he made it work. Sitting down on the floor, Kim Serve, Astrup. serve, up. Six, 13. Finds himself on the floor with that drop shot and then is able to play the return back. Hoki second guessing that. What a point. Still got a seven point advantage here. Hoki and Kobayashi. Instinctive reactions from Takura Hoki at the net. Superb. Service over. He's forced 14, to defend and then, then has the ability to find the drop shot there. Rasmussen just not expecting it, not getting there in time, more importantly. Service, Service error. Over. 7 14. From Japan. Second one we've seen this game. That's landed out. It's uh, 14. Takuro Hoki having to track back. Not able to. Play any other shot but the clear. Oh! It was a little too loose. Serves over. From Rasmussen who was looking for the lighter touch Eight. at the net. Played it back. Did it go out? And late decision from Kobayashi as well. It's the lift. Yeah. Kim Astrup makes no mistake. Finds that narrow Service space over. between the yes. two players. Nine fifteen. It's a magnificent hit by Astrup. If you think about how tight that space was between Hoki and Kobayashi. Oh. Body shot. Service over. Astrup desperate to move away. 16-9. Good work by Denmark there. A lot more over. alert at the net. Ten, six, exploit the spaces on the court on that time. Look at Astrup directing the shuttle to the edge and then Rasmussen ready on the follow up. It's a well thought out point. Oh, he missed it. Yeah, 11, Kobayashi 16. looking yes. for the net roll almost when he got that smash. Caught the tape and was hoping that it rolled over. Unfortunately, it did not. Yeah. 
reduced it to five points. Still a long way to go, but it's good work by Astrup and Rasmussen. Controlled play once again at the net from 11. Hoki and Kobayashi. As soon as they start covering that front court area, very difficult to get past Hoki and Kobayashi. Danes desperately trying to push them back. Give the opportunity. Racket catches that Rasmussen. 18, There's such 11. tall players and they've got fantastic presence on the court, but because they've got their rackets out and trying to cover all ends of the court, sometimes, even though the shuttle might be going out, it catches the racket and that's a fault. Three points away from taking this first game, Hoki and Kobayashi. Let's go, let's go. It's called in. 19. 11. Found the outside line. Okay. Yeah. Good Service return. Over. Pounced on that one. 12. Well. 19. A smash in the mid court area does Service the trick and it sets up eight yeah. game points for 20 the number five game seeds. Point 12. 2012. They've really controlled the mid and front courts. Oh. Hoki and Kobayashi, and it's been difficult to find a breakthrough on that end for Astrup and Rasmussen. Whoa. Going behind Great. Rasmussen brilliantly. And it's Takura Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. And Yugo Kobayashi. 21, 21, 12, and 12. 15 minutes. It's a fabulous placement by Hoki. Go behind a crouching Rasmussen. And it is the Japanese who have the advantage. For det første, vi skal hurtigt på, så vi kommer ind og spiller noget initiativ på prikken foran, så vi ikke bare de spiller to hurtige bolde for os, og så afgiver vi. Ja, vi skal have noget snært i herovre for os, men det er så også Okay. 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 Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Back on court. Takura Hoki, you can have the first game in the bag, 21-12. That'll be Hoki who will serve. To get the second game underway, Tan Kim Her pretty happy with his charges. The Japanese men's doubles coach can't imagine he has much to complain after that first game. 
clash of rackets One from Astrup no. and Rasmussen there. but he does well to keep the shuttle in play. Two love. Singapore Open champions. Takurohoki and Yugo Kobayashi got to the finals of the Japan Open and Australia Open, but lost out there. Three other semi-final finishes as well this year. And pretty solid on the Japanese. So Oh. Astrup and Rasmussen, of course, I mentioned that World Championship silver, but they also won the Canada Open and the European Games gold. I'm looking at their Super 1000 form, it's quarterfinals at the Malaysia oh. Open, round two at All England, and round one at Indonesia Open. The best finish at a Super 1000, of course, winning the China Open in 2018. Oh. <laughs> he tried to go round the back with Six that Astrup, but it was a difficult Three shot to make. One. So, 3-1 lead now for Hoki Kobayashi. Best finish was oh. getting to the final of the Indonesia Open Service in 2021. Over. Still Two, looking for their first Super three. 1000 title. This year it's been first round at Malaysia Open, quarterfinals at All England, and then a second round exit at the Indonesia Open. So if they do make the semifinals, it will be the best finish hey, at a Super 1000 this year. Case for both oh! of them. Three oh. Level scores the Danes. Oh! Good serve. Four three. Ah, nicely played. Finds the space not only behind the two tall Danes, but in between them as well. Able to get it over in a fast paced exchange. Astrup Five, and Rasmussen four. feeling the pressure. Big smash from Rasmussen, but the fact that it came back was difficult to contend with. Back in the lead. Caught the top end of his frame there. Service over. Okay. Five all. Five all. It's already a better start from the Danes, who were kind of shell shocked at the start of the first game. It's much closer in the second. Uh, he has been. Absolutely Six, unbeatable five. at the net, Takuro Hoki. Comes in so quick. Oh, the kill shot. Oh. Then gives away over. Six. the point cheaply oh. with the service error. She's made a couple of those now from the first game. Yeah. 
six all. Return. Six, Maximizing four, on that open space in the seven, front court. Six. Crowd enjoying the cheers from the Japanese side as well. Staying ahead at this point. Very tight first half of the second game. Oh. Oh. Eight, six. really struggling to get that net game under control it's rattled the da Danish a little bit Ooh, clash of rackets yeah Kim Astro makes no mistake that time serves over you heard the clash of rackets when Hoki and Kobayashi went for the same eight. shot. And Astrup made the most of that miscommunication. Change of rackets as a result for Takuro Hoki. Yes. Still a point ahead. Smart Seven serve. Over nine, seven. But an equally smart return. Rasmussen Serves doing well over. that time. Eight, nine. To find the gaps. Because it felt like Hoki and Kobayashi, Kobayashi expected that return from Rasmussen, the steep smash, but then opened them up. <laughs> Tried his best to defend Astrup. To get Serves the shuttle over. back in play, but it Ten, eight, came at a height that. Takuro Hoki mate. No mistake from. They just haven't been able to create those sort of dominant periods in either the first or the second game, Hoki and Kobe, uh, Astrup and Rasmussen. Always having to play catch up. It's not worked for them because they are the kind of players who like to be the more aggressive, the more controlling. Yet they've been sort of subdued in this match. 10 8. Oh. 11 8 interval. No serve. Impossible to return. And it's Hoki and Kobayashi who have the lead once more at the break of the second game. 11 8 up. They are in control of proceedings at the moment. Court 2, 20 seconds. Court 2, 20 seconds. Back on court with a game and a three point advantage. Artakura Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. 11 8 up against Kim Astrup and Anders Karat Rasmussen. Twelve, eight. Again, doing really well to get behind 
the tall Dane who's sort of crouching down, expecting a low return. Oh, again. Both went for the same shot, and that's where the mistake was made. Service over. 9-12. Nine, 9-12, nine, nine, because Astrup will... Rasmussen will serve. You can see them rotate to their natural positions. Oh! Kobayashi from the backcourt delivers the deadly drop. Service over. 13-9. But it was just a matter of time before, during the rally, Hoki came forward. Kobayashi went at the back. And that's their preferred formation. They say have exceptional skills in those positions. Kobayashi just 14-9. Making it look really easy there. Low serve, straight forehand, and then pounces it down. So now they've opened up a five-point lead after the break. They were 11, seven up. Broadened the gap. Good defensive work again. Oof. On the floor is Kim Astro saving the drop and he's once more made it work from the floor, sitting down. We saw it in the first game where he absolutely leaped 10, to make 14. or return the drop shot. He was on the floor and he saw that shuttle coming back and he confidently put it back in play. And Kobayashi drives it into the net as a result. Yes. Oh. Kim Astrup, a master of playing badminton from the floor. How about that? Oh. And this is going to be an interesting period. Three point gap. Ashton Rasmussen 14. with a chance here. Oh. Service over. 15, 11. Not let any opportunity go. sound defensively able to absorb these big smashes pretty well Rasmussen out muscles them 12, in the end 15. it's 12 15 three-point game Well done. He let it go. It was the right decision. And this guy Rasmussen. 15. Quick. Yes. Making sure that he read that right. <laughs> Changing his mind. And rightly so. So for the first time since 6-8, we're down to a two-point game. Let me take that back. Since 7-9, we're down to a two-point game. Just 
feel that the Danes have a spring in their step now. Oh! There you go. 14, One now. 15. Five of the last six points as a result. Narrowed it down to one. An important stage in the second game because it's a must win for them. If you want to have a chance of making the semi finals, they've got to push this to a decider, having lost that first game. So this is crunch time. And that is indeed confident play from Kim Astro. Oh. We've been waiting to see these moments from Astro at the net. And they've finally come through 15 all in the second, having trailed for a lot of this game. They're back on yeah. level score. Lunged. time to find that momentum isn't it what a blow it would be if they can steal this second game from the hands of the Japanese who've looked almost unshakable and here at 15 all the Danes have a chance Ooh, hesitation from Hoki but he stays strong at the net. Service over. 16, 15. Straight towards Rasmussen there. A couple of times. Straight down. And Rasmussen with some desperate defending. Oh, that's a great return. Great return from Kobayashi. 17. 15. You've just got to imagine how alert you have to be, not only to be able to return such a low serve, but also to be able to find that space on the court against two very tall opponents. Another good serve. This time coming off the Japanese end. And see how quickly they've restored this advantage. Three points up and three away from a win. Takura Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. Okay, uh, service error from Yugo Kobayashi. We've seen that happen a couple of times where he's made the mistakes on the serve. There are nerves, undoubtedly, on both ends. Oh. Just out. He's challenged it Akuna though to Hoki. Challenges called out. Straight away. Raises his hand up. Maybe it's a break they need more than anything else. As I said, line dodges have been pretty accurate. That one's out. Challenge too. unsuccessful. An unsuccessful challenge One challenge the remaining. Japanese pair. 17. 18. A one point game. This one going down Nine. to the wire. <laughs> How about that for change of pace from Kobayashi? Drop shot 17. to Rasmussen and then cross court smash to follow up. In control of that point completely. Two points away. Uh, he's on the floor again. 
but they've still managed to keep the rally going. There's some desperate defending here, but we're still at it. Hesitation from Hokey, but he delivers the winner while on the move. And maybe a misstep or two as he finds himself on the floor as well. Match point 17. But he'll take anything he can get. 37 shot rally, the longest of the match, match coming in at 19-17 because it sets up three match points for Japan. What a way to set it up. So a chance now to get to their first ever China Open semi-final for Takura Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi. Can they do it on the first goal? That's the question. 2017, oh. Hoki to serve. Oh. Hey, they do on a fantastic serve. Takura Hoki makes sure that the win is this 21-17 in the second game. They convert on their first match point opportunity and they're through to their seventh semi-final of 2023. Look at that return after a low fabulous Kobayashi. serve from 21, Takura Hoki. 12, they have indeed been the better pair out there on court two today. So confirmation of the score, 21-12, 21-17 in 40 minutes. It's Hoki and Kobayashi who are through to their first ever China Open semi-final. Well, that brings us to the end of the matches for session one here on court two. As you can see there, Takuro Hoki, Yugo Kobayashi, securing a straight games win over Astrup and Rasmussen in 40 minutes to book a place in the semifinals here in Changzhou. We will be back with more badminton in just a while. Five o'clock local time is when session two begins and we'll have four more thrilling matches for you then. So do remember to join my colleague Jeevan Silvanad and then in the meantime, for me, Mo Shubi Dutt, it's goodbye and have a lovely day ahead. <laughs>